CO Rage comes in with a question about the 10900K. Is it dead, Jim, or does it have some life left in it? Co Rage says, Hey guys, I play World of Warcraft and Call of Duty. My CPU is showing its age. It's a 10900K CPU, and he has a 4090 GPU with it. He is playing on a 42-inch 42, 42 LG 120Hz OLED monitor. What should I do for a CPU upgrade? Love you guys. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Great question. Glad you asked. Now, okay, I'm going to answer something in general for our audience before we get into the specific question. Okay. The i9-10900K is dead. Long live the i9-10900K. The i9-10900K is a phenomenally good CPU. 10 cores, 20 threads, monolithic, unified cache, unified core structure, no games, no E cores, no P cores, no funny business, no chiplets, no modules, no IO dies. It's perhaps the last of the really good old school chips. You have a basically identical chip, I the i9 10850K. It's 100 megahertz slower, otherwise it's the same chip. Mm -hmm. It's a great CPU. However, CoRage put a 4090 on it. Yes, and he did. And that was a mistake. Yes. Because the 10900K will severely bottleneck a 4090 at 1440p. It will somewhat bottleneck a 4090 at 4K. Notice I didn't even use the words 1080p in that sentence. 1440p, there are some games we tested where it's like a 30 to 40% bottleneck. Yep. Keep in mind that a 13900K bottlenecks a 4090 at 1440p in some games. A 10900K can be a severe bottleneck. Wrong card for that. CPU. Now, that doesn't make it a bad CPU. And inevitably, whenever I say things like this, people get upset and they go, oh, Tech's saying that 10 core CPUs are crap and need to be thrown away. No. He just thinks everybody should buy a 1300K. Holy smokes, half our audience would love to upgrade Great to tube. a 10900K. I think that is a phenomenal CPU, mm -hmm. and a 3090 would be the most I would put on it, or a 4070. Yeah. A 3080 would be great, but a 4090 is too much. If you've got 4090 money, keep in mind this is a 1600R video card, you should be on a 13900K or a 7950X 3D. Well, he's got an OLED monitor as well. He's got a very, very nice one. And given that that is an OLED 42 inch, I am assuming he didn't say that that is a 4K screen. Now, he might think because people on Reddit who don't know what they're talking about or people on Twitter or people on just random message boards will say, well, if you're at 4K, your CPU doesn't matter. Just buy a good video card and it'll all be fine. That's not true. It used to be true. It is no longer true. That has changed in the past couple of years. And it's not just the 4090 that's done it. Games have changed as well. Yeah. Games now include assets Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. 
When you run at 4K, they load a different version of the game with different assets than they do at lower resolutions. They didn't used to do that just a couple of years ago. Shadow of the Tomb Raider didn't really matter, for example. 1440p, 4K, it's the same game. Yeah, they have these, it's a high resolution. They have these texture packs that they include. Oh now. my goodness. So, yeah, they're really, and some of the 4K texture packs are like 40 gigabytes for just the 4K textures. Mm -hmm. That changes the dynamics completely. So, what should you upgrade to? Well, lucky for you, uh, CEO Rage, on the day we're recording this, and this may not help people in the future if you watch this back later, but on the day we're recording this, the i9-13900K is $430 at Amazon. Put it on a 200R motherboard. Now, you need DDR5 because you've got a 4090 and there's a performance difference that's worth carrying. It's about 15%. 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM is gonna cost you about $170. Don't bother with 32. You've got 4090 money. You should be going to the 13900K. 170 bucks for RAM isn't going to stop you. And if it does, how do I say this nicely? Papa Deal says you didn't have 4090 money. It's true. I'm sorry. Yep. But 4090 owners should be on a 13900K. Even if it were the normal price of 550, I'd be advising a 13900K. You have a 4090, you should have the best CPU. Now the 14900K is about to launch in October. Is. Very, very soon. Correct. And if the 13900K were 550, which is the normal price, I would say wait and get the 14900K when it comes out. However, for $430, you would be nuts to wait for it because the 14900K is the same chip. It's only two or 300 megahertz faster. Exactly. Exact same cores, exact same core count. I promise you, the 14900K is not gonna be $429. Nope. It will not be. 500, 550? Six. Oh, It'll six? be six when it well, comes out. Yeah. You are crazy to wait for it at today's price. So, do that. Really, it's your, your uh, the performance uplift in Call of Duty will be, Notice if you're doing Call of Duty multiplayer, Call of Duty Warzone, yep. the difference with what you have will be noticeable. Your 1% low uplifts will be noticeable. Your average, I would not be shocked if his average frame rate goes up 50 to 70 frames per second. Mm. His 1% low won't double but I'll bet you it goes up over 50%. That's impressive. It will be, he won't need to run benchmarks to tell the difference. It will be clear and obvious. Oh, he, he will have to report back. So that's what I would advise and you will have an awesome machine for the next couple of years, at least until the 5090 comes out and then you'll probably want that too. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support and the question.